Hey everyone, Dig, Wait, Listen, A Desert Toad's Tale by April Pulley Sire. All the illustrations were done by Barbara Bash. Here we go. Deep in the desert, under the sand, the spadefoot toad waits. She waits for the sound of rain. Skitter, skitter, scratch. She hears soft sounds. Is it the rain at last? No. It's the scorpion overhead, crawling slowly past. Skitter, scratch. Thunk, 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 clink, clunk. Sounds shake the soil. But it's only a herd of peccaries. Their, so their hooves hammer the ground. Pop, pop, pop. What's that sound now? Is it the rain at last? No, it's a rat hopping in lengthy leaps like a tiny kangaroo. Will the rain ever come? The Desert's so hot, so dry, and the toad's been waiting for so many months in her basement burrow home. Tap, tap, tap. Could this be it? Is this the rain at last? No, it's a Gila woodpecker tapping on a tall green cactus. The toad feels the ground begin to shake then a crunch, crunch, crunch. That's loud. Is it the rain? No, it's the park ranger's boots walking on a path. What about that tss, tss, tss? Is that the rain at last? No, it's the rattle of a rattlesnake giving warning. Stay away. Surely that rumbling, that rumble, rumbling, surely that's the rain. Not yet. It's the thunder of a distant storm, but perhaps the rain is near. Plip, plop, plip, plop, plip, plop, plop. Is it the rain at last? Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk. It's the rain. The toad hears it and she digs. Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk. The heavy rain pop, pounds the desert floor. Push, push, and the toad pops right out into the open air. Bleat, bleat, bleat. The toad hears loud bleats. Is that the rain sound too? No. It's the male spadefoot toads calling. Here, come here. Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk. The toad hops in a puddle. She lays her eggs like beads of glass. Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk. Two days later. The eggs are already hatching, wriggling and wiggling in their puddle home. The tadpoles are here at last. They eat. They grow. Legs start to show, but their puddle is drying up. Will they make it? Yes. With new legs formed, young toads crawl from their puddle home. They rest, then leap into the desert beyond. Thump, 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 thump. Hundreds of tiny toads jump. The rain has made the desert green. Yet it won't be long until the desert's dry and the toads dig down with their spade foot feet to wait for that sound, that marvelous sound 
the sound of the desert rain. Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk, kush. Plop, thunk, plop, thunk, plop, thunk, kush. So this story was written by April Police Sayer. Here's a picture of her. Let me scoot myself out of the way. And then um, all the illustrations were done by Barbara Bash. Thanks, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the story.